So this is the uh, Adafruit 3.2 inch screen. Um, it's uh, 3.2 inches across versus the, uh, the standard 2.2 inches for the Pi Zero. Um, we're gonna modify the back of it. As you can see here, there's a 26 pin and a 40 pin. We're gonna keep the 40 pin. We're going to clip the 26 pin because we want this thing totally flush so we can land one of these Pi Zeros right on top so it's thin, it keeps it thin inside the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on cutting these off. I'm probably just gonna use a standard clipping tool and just clip these at the very base all the way to the bottom. I'll take another video, show how I cut this thing off and salvage it to actually land a zero on top of it. So basically the fastest way to clip this 28, 26 pen head is you come in between these plastics and you just clip in the plastics and it bends them over and you can clip them out. That's the fast way to do it. So actually to get this black thing pried off the top so you can actually land a Pi Zero on this, I'm using a little tiny screwdriver and I'm just inserting it all the way across here and just kind of turning it and prying it up slowly and it's slowly coming up but it's coming down as well but I think we'll get it popped up so use that method to get that top off. All right so here we go I clipped it um, and the Pi Zero seems to fit on here pretty good so I'm actually going to show you this in a sec here I'll show you how it looks when I take it off. So here's how it looks with it off. It, um, I clipped all of them on the top and I broke them so you just got to try to clip it really slowly in the top don't break the bottoms I actually got one here and I got a solder back but this fits pretty well right on top so you just put the pins line them up push it down it's pretty much flush mount so you'll be able to stick wires right in but that's pretty much how it goes the only thing I might change is when you press it down this power connector for the USB is kind of in the way of that so I might end up just clipping that out of there because I take power from another source from the the thousand C power boost. So I might get rid of the power port when I'm with done with the final product. Before you put the Pi Zero down too, because of the clearance issues with the Pi sitting on top of here like this, you're gonna wanna put some masking tape on these um, 26 pin GPIOs. 